15 minutes to the hour of 7 o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago. Good morning if you are just joining us. You hear that beautiful song in the background, a song with a cause, and we are about to speak to a lady with a cause, talking about motivated emotion that's going to be happening, and also just a touch of Miss Trisha St. John's story. Good morning, Trisha. Good morning. Welcome to the Now Morning Show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for getting up so early. <laughs> Well, there is that. <laughs> yes, that definitely is. So, Trisha, um, before we get into, of course, your event that's taking place on the 30th of October, if we could just get a slight background into the cause behind the fashion show and the tea party. Because if it's one thing to stand here, and well, sit here, rather, as a woman, you're definitely in your power. But how did you get to this space? The cause behind the fashion show and tea party is... As a survivor of domestic violence, I, in 2004, I was attacked with a cutlass and I lost my left forearm and three fingers on my right hand. And then I had to adjust to my right hand having to do everything, everything. And after some time, it got to the point where my right hand began to protest. Because I mean, she doing everything. Mm -hmm. So some days, it would be painful some days. Sometimes I'd pick up a pot and it would fall. And uh, in 2017, just because I always wanted to, I took part in a pageant, Miss Fabulous Plus. And then after that, I, after seeing how that went, I started brainstorming on a way that I could probably try to raise funds mm -hmm. to get myself a functioning prosthetic arm. And uh, luckily for me, a lot of the ladies that I met in 2017, very outgoing and caring ladies, and I approached them to assist me in having a fashion shanty party because I needed them to be the models because mm -hmm. I didn't know models outside of that. And they agreed. So I've been using them since. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I've been using them since. Mm -hmm. So... I got a quote from Trinidad and Tobago Orthotics and Prosthetics in on Henry Pierce Street. And so I've been working with that. And I, well, the two years that we had COVID, I didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. So it was 2018, 2019, and now. Yeah. No, Trisha, if we can just go back to something you shared in the beginning with your right hand, basically saying, listen, I fed up, mm -hmm. I need a break. Basically, what about, <laughs> what about the, the, the we spoke about the physical? You, you spoke to us about what that challenge was like adjusting, but what about the mental challenges? And I would say the mental growth that you would have experienced from such a traumatic event. Would you say that it has changed you? <laughs> it was hard, it yeah. was really hard at first because you start off one way and then in the middle of your life going. Well, not exactly how it's supposed to go, but in the middle of living, yeah. you end up another way. And at that time, all my children were small. I have four children, three boys and a girl, mm -hmm. and they were small. And I had to be, it was a fight in my head all the time because one, people are mean, mm -hmm. so they don't know your story, but they judge mm -hmm. and they say unkind things. So I had to deal with that. And then I had to deal with accepting that people assume that I cannot. Right. And I also had to deal with my children having to deal with mm -hmm. their friends in school or children in school being mean to them because mm -hmm. when I go like for PTA meetings and what have you and children see them, see me, mm -hmm. and they would say things that were not nice. Right. So I had to deal with all that and I had to deal with me dealing with me, me convincing myself that I am still good enough for all the things that I believed I was good enough for all the time, mm -hmm. and convincing myself that I am not now, well, I am not less than anyone else because of. So I had to deal with all those things. And I think what there were two things that helped me deal with all those things. One was prayer. I wasn't baptized at that time, but I believed in God and I believed that 
I didn't have anybody else that would help me get through. And the other thing that helped was my children. Because when you have small children and you want to give up and you're feeling depressed and you want to scream and shout and probably run and stand in the middle of the road or do something really mm -hmm. crazy and you turn around and you look at them, you, you can't. Yeah. You have to keep going because they're waiting for your reaction. So you have to keep, keep it on. Yeah, and you definitely have, of course, with this event that's coming up. But just listening to your story, you had things coming from all sides. So there was no moment of peace, really, unless you yeah, found no. it, of course, with God. Now, looking at your accomplishments since then, of course, going on to the pageant, now having your fashion show and tea party, and I'm sure this is going to come, and of course, definitely achieving the funds for your prosthesis and so much more. This is definitely... I would say put you in a position of power and ministry to really reach out to others and show them that anything is possible you know we always talk about women being so strong yes. and we always admire that trait but we don't always take into consideration everything that a woman had to go through it's like constantly being tip, dipped in hot water yes. you know the tea bag yes yeah yes. so let's talk a bit since you're having a tea party perfect segue it wasn't even intended but you see how god is good <laughs> um so your fashion show and tea party is happening on the 30th of october may we have some more information about that it's a sunday so it's sunday the 30th of october at the monrepo community center from 4 p.m to 7. i will there will be local designers local artists like rascal manda and spicy to name two out mm -hmm. of them um we have door prizes and uh, um we have a prize for best dress mm -hmm. as well the purpose again is to raise funds for me to get a prosthesis mm -hmm. and what i also do whenever i have a fashion show and tea party i also take out of whatever i make mm -hmm. and help i just pick some random person and i help that's so it's so important you give, yep. give and you shall receive and also giving back. Now, you mentioned best dress. Is there a theme for this? Because you know when you mention things like that, people come out and they're ready. Yes, they do. Yes, so they do. So do we have a theme that we need to be dressed up for? No. Okay. Just, just best dress. Just best dress. Looking fabulous. Most important thing. Yes. Where can we get tickets for your event? Um, currently, I have tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn on. <laughs> Trisha has tickets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there will be tickets available at the venue on the day. Tickets available at the venue on the day. Do you have a contact number that you could share with us? 342 mm -hmm. 4627. 4627. Now, Trisha, before we end this conversation this morning, everything that you have been through, what would you say is one of the key things, the key support that you had that's been able to push you through to sit here with us today? First off, after the incident happened mm -hmm. in 2004, my mom said to me, she said, you are not a victim of anything. Amen. You are a survivor of. And that, that, that did it. <laughs> that did it. I'm gonna pause for you. Yeah, that did it. <laughs> yeah. So it was that, and again, my children. Yeah. And I have some really close friends and my sisters and God. Amen. But God first. Everything and else after. Everything else after. <laughs> and some really sound advice there. You are not a victim. You are a survivor. And I know I have many... held on to that. Mm -hmm. Like a drowning person. Yeah, that pulled yeah. me through quite a lot. Yeah. And it's something, it's incredible, the power of words yes. and the power of belief. And you'll be surprised what you can overcome. Yes. Can you just give us a telephone contact one more time? Three four two mm -hmm. four six two seven. Three four two four six two seven. Trinidad and Tobago, Trisha Saint John, an amazing survivor. You don't want to miss a tea party. It's happening on the thirtieth of October at Monrepo. Remember you can give Trisha a call for tickets or you can get tickets at the venue. Trisha, thank you for being with us this thank morning. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Stay tuned, there's more coming up on the Now Morning Show. Don't go anywhere. Oh.